Hey everybody, Jason here again. I'm going to show you two things with Windows 7. Um, how to get Google Chrome working if, if you have 64-bit. And if you notice up here, the send feedback thing, I'm going to show you how to get rid of that. It's, it's pretty easy. Now, first of all, I've got my magnifier here showing my main desktop. The, the magnifier in Windows 7 Beta Build 7000 is really, really buggy, and the new one doesn't work. It keeps crashing, so it keeps going back to the old one. So when I move, you can see that it's um, it's choppy. So just bear with me. So if you have Chrome installed, um, this is what happens if you don't run it. Um, I'm going to show you how you can fix it. Run program. If I go to a website, even Google.com, it shows this aw snap picture. Okay. And you go to any website, and it will do it. Well, it just goes to a white page. So if I go back to google.com or anything, it's not going to work. But this is what you can do to fix it. You're going to add something after the target. So you're going to find the Google Chrome icon on your desktop, right click it, click properties, and right where you see target here, at the end, where it says Chrome EXE, this is what you're going to do. I'll just bring my notepad up here. You're going to add this in. Now, I don't know um, how well you can see that, but you're going to go space dash in dash process dash plugins. So it will look like, let me bring this up a bit, like this after the exe file which is right here chrome.exe slash in plugins that should be a u right there then click ok it should work you're gonna get this run program compatibility assistant just click run now you're gonna keep getting this for every website you go to so if I go to macintech.net I have to keep clicking run program and then it will work there it is but what you can do is just click do not show this message again and then click run program and this will never come up so that's how you can get Google Chrome working in 64-bit Windows 7 Remember, in process plugins after the exe. Now, if you want to get rid of this um, annoying send feedback button, which is on every friggin' bar, this is what you're going to do. Now, careful, because we got to go into the registry, so you got to be careful. If, if you're, you don't like editing stuff or whatnot, or don't know what it is, best not to do it. So, we're just going to press Windows key R for run and type regedit okay so we're at the computer we're going to go to um, H key current user control panel and then we're going to click desktop and you'll see all these entries here. Now, you'll see something. Look for something called Feedback Tool Enabled. There it is. You're going to see it's going to have a 3. It may even have a 4. What you're going to do, double click that. And then the value data, hit press 0. Make it 0. And then OK. Then restart the computer. After it starts back up, your feedback toolbar will be completely gone because that can get annoying. So that's how you can do that. Get Google Chrome going and get rid of that annoying send feedback button. So hopefully this tutorial helped you. Check out some of our other videos at our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Macintech. Check out 
our main site at macintech.net and our live page at macintech.net. Email us questions if you have any at questions at macintech.net. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned for further podcasts and we'll chat at you later.